Tracy Joy and today we're going to go over how to composite for the new floral monotone backgrounds that we have in the Summer Runner shop. So I pulled here the green and the yellow floral backdrops and we're going to grab this image and pop it onto one of those. Kind of had the feel to you know make something a little bit more vibrant, add a little bit more color to it and thought this would be a great one for a little Charlie in this picture. So let's get going. First thing we're going to do is we're going to cut her from this image that I already have edited and completed. So the easiest way to do that is to come up here to the quick selection tool. With that, I'm going to hit the select subject. And this does a decent job at grabbing your subject. The only problem we're gonna have is down here, it's a little bit dark, so it's not gonna be able to get that. But it's okay with me, because I'm just gonna cut her off right about here into the new image. So. With this, I'm just going to go in and pull a little bit more details that it may have left out. Looks like we a little bit up here. So by just using this plus tool right here, I can come in and slowly just add in some bits and pieces that may have been left out. She's got this beautiful hair, so a little bit more of that. And I think from there, we look pretty good. All right, so um, next thing we're gonna do is come up here under the Select tool, and while holding the Shift key, I'm gonna go Select and Mask. This is gonna give us this whole cutout area showing it what it looks like. So I'm gonna leave everybody right here, the adjustment edge where it is, and I'm just gonna take this little brush, you can see with the little hair cross, hairpin cross there, and we're just gonna go around the edge of her, and this is just going to help kind of soften up those edges so that when we place her she looks like she was meant to be there and not just cut and thrown into the image. So just working kind of slowly down the edge here. I can go in, I can bring my brush a little bit smaller. Just really work in the edge of her hairline. That's where I find the little flyaways and stuff that'll drive us crazy when we're using digital backdrops and the cut and paste. And keep going. This is just, again, smoothing out the edge so it's not so rough. Go all the way down. This one should be pretty easy to work. Should not have, like, beautiful hair, guys. Oops. Right. Going here, around the edges. Patience is like the key to this. Um, if I found it went a little too much, I'm just going to hit the Command Z on my Mac, and that's just going to back step for me. Just a shortcut. I love using shortcuts because I am the queen of goofing stuff up. All right, I am not the best cut and paste kind of gal but I think we're doing a half decent job. This is all her hair. All right, it's just gotta catch up with me, spinning, spinning, spinning. So it's popped in that last bit, we can keep working. Oops, went too far, bring me up. All right, so just gonna kind of work. And little bits and pieces. I think about right there should be good. It's about where I'm going to cut her dress off in the image. All right, let's just get to this side. Oops, smoothing out a little bit here, through here. edges. It's a little bit of a process, but again, patience is what matters when doing this. Otherwise, you're going to have a garbled mess. So we're just going to keep going. Moving along the outskirts. I skipped here, but it's kind of looking decent to me, so I'm going to hope that my instinct is a Good, and I'm not goofing up. All right, and the final, final lap here, guys. <laughs> Just 
just got to get up here along her hairline. And I pulled two colors, the yellow and the green, out of the floral monotones. So I wasn't sure which one exactly I wanted to use. So we're going we're gonna to see what we like best. I'm thinking the green, but we'll see what happens. Okay, almost there, final stretch. Okay, so now once we have this part completed, we are going to let it run. I'm going to click OK. Just back this up a little bit more. All right, so by hitting the Q key, it's going to give us this red, which is going to show us exactly where we got and didn't. So we can kind of come in here if we wanted to. I think we're pretty good. This may irritate me a little bit. Let's just grab our brush. Paint back a little bit of that with the white brush. And let's see what happens. So now I'm going to just do a cut and paste. So Command C, let's go to the green backdrop and I'm gonna do Command V, it's gonna pop her in. Now, like I said, I love shortcuts. So Command T is gonna give us the transform, the free transform tool. And I'm just gonna drag her about where I think is good and Right about here is a nice size for our Charlie girl. So with that, we're just going to go in a little bit. We're going to check our edges. I'm going to throw a mask over this layer right there. That's going to let us kind of come in and use a brush to bring back any detail. Oops, wrong one. Want a white brush along the edges that we may have left out. Okay, kind of work those just a little bit. I can use a black brush so I can switch this. I get another shortcut if you hit the X key. Now I'm just going to take out these flyaways here, just kind of smooth out the edge a little bit. And I think we're looking pretty good. Let's clean up over here. This was her dress that was kind of meshed with the background a little bit. So we're just going to paint that out. Here's a little bit more as well gonna swoop along there looking good on the rest cut off the back of the the bottom of the dress here where it was getting a little wonky for me so just cleaning up the edges and I think we're looking pretty fabulous so there we are another thing you um, may want to do with these backgrounds um, you could add a filter to it so I am just going to come right into here. Let's make a new background filter. So I'm just going to Command J. It's going to give me a duplicate. And I'm going to come here under Filters and I'm going to go to Blur and to Gaussian Blur. There we go. I am digging how this looks. You can adjust the amount of the blur that you want. Of course, you could go way, way blurry. You can bring it back just a little bit. Here's where we originally are, where it's really in focus. So I don't want it to look like it's quite on top of her. I want to give a little bit of depth to that background. So I'm thinking maybe right about there is going to be good. Click OK. And there we are with our final image. So we went from here. Oops, let's get this out of here. So we went from here. And we put in this nice floral background to it. So I hope you guys enjoy, enjoy, the, enjoy them. There are five different floral monotones that you can use to create your own editing magic. Have a great day. This is Tracy Joy, and enjoy your Summerana membership.